Okay, I've had several requests to do a video about breeding and mutation stacking, so I'm going to give it my best shot. Uh, bear in mind, I am not an expert at this by any means, and there are also lots of different ways you can go about setting this up and doing it. I'm going to show you the way that works well for me. Um, this does not mean it's the only way to do it. So let's dive in and get started, and let's take a look at what we need to begin breeding. First and most importantly, you're going to need a breeding pair to start with. Um, I'm going to use these fellows here, the Ceratosauruses, and I have a male and a female. I have named my male OG male, because he's my original, and of course OG female over here. Next, I have my five mutators, and these mutators are all set to create mutation pulse. I'll be using these in a few moments. I've got a soul terminal set up for these guys, and inside my soul terminal, I have my folders ready to go. OG for my originals, a folder for my clean breeding animals when I get them, my melee line, my health line, my final finished mutations for both of those. And then boss is my designation for those that have the health and the melee merged together to get the end result. And then over here, I have my funky little setup for eggs. I have a storage box in case I need to chuck any in there. I have a best egg set up to auto gather eggs and also um, set up to enable gestation eggs. That way, if I'm breeding animals that normally gestate babies, I'll get eggs instead, and I can use the best egg to sort them out. I have an incinerator here in the middle, which I use to destroy any unwanted eggs. If you don't have an incinerator, you can also just eat them. Very easy to do. And last but not least, this is just a, a weird quirk I have. I have a second best egg over here. This is set up with auto gather and gestation eggs both disabled. Um, sometimes I find that when I'm looking at a bunch of eggs in best egg and setting them up, it kind of mixes them up as I make each one a best egg. So I lose the one I was working with in the collection of other eggs. So once I find the one I'm going to turn into a best egg, I will usually move it over here by itself so I can mess with it without it getting lost in the other eggs. But we'll look a little closer at that in a few minutes. So this is basically what I use to get started. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive in and take a look at how to start by getting our clean breeding animals. Okay, so our first step in breeding is to take our two originals and combine their stats to get a perfect pair, our clean pair. So if I look at my male, he's got 52 points into melee, 49 into health, which is meh. And my female over here has 140 into melee and 122 into health. Those are definitely the stats I want. Um, the rest of the stats are less important, so those are the two that I tend to really look at when I'm breeding my health and my melee. Now back before mods, this is a long, tedious, nightmarish process of breeding and breeding and breeding and hoping that the baby will get the better stats from its parent, but Best Egg is going to make this super easy. So I'm going to go ahead in and I'm just going to go ahead and enable mating and have these guys give me an egg. Um, as a caveat for this video, I am recording this on my Platinum server, which has highly, highly, highly boosted breeding rates, so I can do stuff like this pretty quickly. It will be a little bit slower on the main cluster, but our breeding rates are still boosted pretty high compared to normal. So in a second, Best Egg is going to pick that up. I'm just going to come over to my mail in the meantime, and I'm going to turn his mating off. And now that the egg's been picked up, I'm going to come over here to best egg. And I'm going to select this egg. And here's what we're looking for. Those bright green stats are the higher stats from the parent that we want. Um, up here at the top, I can see this is a female. 
while it's not super important which gender it is, I always like to start out with a female just because I can make more eggs that way to get my final pair. And I'm going to go ahead and while this is selected, I'm going to click make best egg. So now when I select this egg, it now has the best stats from both parents. All right, I can see that it is ready to hatch. So I'm going to select it and kick it out of the incubator. And here's my little baby. I'm going to go ahead and imprint. And let this one grow up. So this one, I'm going to go in and I'm going to name it Clean F for Clean Female. Everybody tends to have their own naming convention. Some people call this perfect. Some people call it clean. Some people have other ways of naming it. Go with what works for you. I find clean F works for me. And we can see we've got our stats all maxed out based on the parents. I got the best stats of both of them. So I'm going to give this girl a moment to finish growing up, and then we'll come back and move on to the next step. Alright, so now I have my clean female all grown up and I have added her into the breeding lineup with my OG male and my OG female. Um, both females are set to breed already, so now I'm just going to come over here and I am going to turn my male's mating on. And this time it should get us two eggs. All right, there we go. So this guy is getting disabled. Females can stay on mating for now. Eggs have been picked up, and I'm going to come back over here to my best egg. So I'm going to go ahead. Here's another one. Uh, this one looks to be a female. They both look to be female, which, again, is not a big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one out for now, so just have one to work with. Uh, this one I'm going to turn to a male because I'm going to make this my clean male. And I'm going to go ahead and make best eggs. So now this one has the same stats as my clean female, but in the male gender. While that one's cooking, I'm going to come over here and put my other egg in here. And the reason I'm keeping this egg is because I'm going to keep this one as a female make best egg again because we're going to need more than one clean female to make our breeding go a little faster. So I come back over here. This guy's about ready to pop, so I'm going to pop him out. There we go. We'll imprint, and this is clean M for my clean male. So I'm going to let him grow up as well. Um, I don't generally soul ball them while these are growing because soul balling will give them the full imprint uh, and I prefer just to be able to see my original stats rather than imprinted stats. It doesn't make that big of a difference. It's more a matter of personal preference. So this one is still cooking over here. Not quite ready yet. We'll give that one another minute and we'll come back when these two are done and grown and move on to our next step. We now have our first beginnings of our breeding ring. I have my clean male, who's all grown up, and I have my second clean female added into the mix. So now I'm ready to start breeding up the rest of the females that I'm going to need to create my breeding ring. So going to go ahead in, and just as before, we're going to go ahead and enable mating. Let this guy do his work with the ladies. And then disable again. So you'll notice my OGs are not here anymore. Now that I have my clean set, the OGs have been soul balled up and put in the soul terminal in the correct folder. Because now I want to focus just on getting a bunch more clean females to be the start of this breeding. So here we go back to our best egg. All right, this one is already best egg, but if I look up here, 
it has the male. So I want to make sure and turn this into a female. And then I'm going to go back in. This one uh, has an orange number. Now the orange number means that there is a mutation in that stat. Later on, we're going to want mutations, but we do not want mutations when we're making our clean breeding pair or our extra clean females. So at any point when you are breeding up your clean dinos, you see this orange number pop up anywhere on the stats. You want to go ahead and get rid of that egg. We do not want to introduce any mutations at this point. So I'm going to take this egg. See ya. Into the incinerator you go. So I'm going to come back to this. We have our clean female ready to go. I'm going to hatch her out, grow her up. And since you don't need to watch this step over and over and over again, I'm going to breed up a few more females to get my uh, breeding ring ready to go. And then we'll come back and look at the start of mutations. All right, we now have our complete breeding ring of Cerrados ready to go. I have my clean male here in the middle and my clean female surrounding him. Uh, the exact number doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, however, the more females you have, the better chance you have of getting the mutation in the spot that you want it. Uh, I usually like to have at least 10 females to one male. This time I ended up with a few extras just because a couple of my eggs hatched twins. Um, so now we are ready to get started. I have all the females ready, my clean male. Everyone has exactly the same stats. Now it's time to start mutating. So I'm going to come down here to my mutators. And again, these are all set to create mutation pulse. And this is going to stack five mutation pulses over my critters. Before I start, I'm going to go ahead and show range and just double check and make sure they are all within range of the mutation pulse, which they are, which is fantastic. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to create that mutation pulse five times. So now we have five out of five mutation pulses, and it's time to start breeding. So I'm going to go ahead, enable mating, and since some of my females are not ready yet, we're going to copy those settings to everybody. And now we're going to get a whole bunch of eggs. All right, we'll turn off the male. Wait for best egg to pick up all of our eggs. A little easier that way. There we go. Okay. So now when I come over here, I should have all of my eggs. It's like all of my girls got them. Okay. And now it's time to get started taking a look at the eggs. So here's where we're going to start looking for those orange numbers that signify a mutation. So I'm going to select my first one, and I have a mutation, but it's on the food. We do not care about a food mutation. That's going to come out. That's a weight mutation. Not worrying about that one either. A health mutation. Yes, we definitely want this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to incinerate the eggs that are in my inventory because they are not the ones we want. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to grab this health mutation. And I'm going to go stick that one over here because I still want to take a look at these others, see what we've got. If I'm lucky, I'll have both the health mutation that I just pulled and one with a melee mutation. And there we go. There is our melee mutation. So I'm going to go ahead and put you over here for a minute. 
And I'm going to grab all of the rest of these, because I don't need them anymore. And they're all going to go in the incinerator. Alright, so I'm going to pull one of you out. Doesn't matter which one. And put you in this best egg. Alright, so let's take a look at what we've got. This one has our melee mutation. And... For our mutations, we want to make sure they are always on the male line. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that into a male. We're going to pop him out. Oh, we got twins. And again, naming conventions vary. I go by numbers, so this is one melee male. All right, my first melee mutation. This other little guy, I don't need you. You're an extra. Come over here and follow me. Okay. You can go in there. Okay. And then I'm going to come back over here. We're going to pop out our female here, our um, health mutation. And again, make sure it is set to male. Make best egg. There we go. And this one is going to be... One health male. Alright. So you have... 140 melee and 132 health. Did I do that right? Yes, I did. So you're the health. We went from, if we look at our originals, 122 points in health to 140, uh, 132 points in health. So 122 up to 132. And then if we look at our melee, our melee was 140. If we look at our melee mail over here, we're up to 150. So we gained 10 points into that. All right, you can stop following me. So once you have your health and your melee, you're going to put one of them away. We um, start with just one and stick with that one. Doesn't matter which. Um, I like to start with melee. That's just a personal preference. So I'm going to soul ball you up. And we're going to go over here, and you are going into health. So, let's see. You are my one health male. You can go in there. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this extra twin that I had. You can go in there, get incinerated. And now my melee male is ready to go. So, I keep all of my clean females out. I'm going to come up here to my clean male, and I am done with him for now. He's going to get soul balled up. He's going to go in here, and he's going into the clean folder in case I ever need to come back and redo a portion of the line. So, there we go. You get a saddle, and let's go put you up with the females now. So this is going to be... Now oh, I love that slide with the ceratosauruses when you go to stop. We're going to soul ball you up because you're not going to step over those, are you? Alright, so I am starting with my melee male. There you go. Okay. So now, all of my melee mutations are going to stay on the male side. My females are done with the mutation pulse for the first round, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start that mutation pulse again. Alright, and here we go, next round of eggs. Wait for our best egg to pick up all the eggs, and then we'll take a look at what this round got us. All 
Okay, so let's see what we got. This one is a health mutation, which is great, but not what we're looking for this round. When you're working on a particular line, you want to stick with one single type of mutation. So health, nope, sorry, you're going away. That's a weight mutation, nope. Another health, nope. Food, definitely not. Weight. Food. Oxygen, nope. Stamina, nope. Food, nope. Stamina, nope. Oh, come on. Nope, and another stamina. So, no luck that round. We're going to go ahead and nuke those eggs, and we're going to try again. We'll bring this back when we have our next mutation ready to go. We now have our next mutation in melee. Um, this egg is ready to go. It is 160 points into melee, going up from our 150. So all I need to do is make sure we make this a male, and we'll kick out our next baby. So our first one was one melee male. This one is going to be two melee male. And there we go. We have our next step in the progression. So now I'm going to repeat this process over and over again. I'm going to put my melee mail that I started with, my one melee mail here. I'm going to take this guy because we don't need him anymore. He's going to go into the melee folder. And then when this guy is full grown, he's going to take his place and we'll start the process over until we get our next melee mutation. That's going to be three melee male, four melee male, and so on. Now, right now we have 160 points into our melee. You have a limit in arc of 255 points into any one stat, but... We don't actually want to get to 255. If we go all the way to 255, you won't be able to add any points to that once it's fully grown and add it to the levels. So we want to make sure we stop at 254 or just under that so that we don't hit that level cap. So I'm going to come back after I've done a few more rounds of this and show you kind of where we want to stop at when we get to the end of mutating out a particular stat. Second round of breeding, and we have our next melee mute. We are getting even closer. We are at 252 out of the 254 that I want. So I'm going to hatch this guy. I'll do another round of breeding with just one mutation pulse and see if we can't wrap up this part of the melee line. Thankfully, our next round of breeding gave me my final mutation on that. We are at 254 for melee. So again, make sure that's on the male line. Make best egg. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this baby out. So this one, oop, twins again. I'm going to go ahead and imprint on this one, but this one is going to be called Melee Final Male, because this is the end of my Melee Mutation breeding. So now we are at 254, exactly where we want to be. So now, I'm going to let this guy grow up. I don't really care about his twin. He can just sit there for now. I'm going to go ahead and put my 12 melee mail away. All my previous mutations there. And now I'm going to go to my health folder because we stashed that guy 
that was our beginning of our health line. And I'm going to go ahead and chuck him out. And now I'm going to start the whole process over again, only this time for health. Um, I'm going to let this current mutation pulse wear off and then start with my five mutators at once. So I get that 10 points per um, baby that I'm going to add in there. I'll breed this one up um, and our health is at 132. We're going to get that as close to 254 as we can. And once I have my health line bred up, we'll come back for the final stage, which is transferring the health mutations and the melee mutations into one line. And we're back, and this time we are almost at the end of our melee line. Here's my latest mail, my 11 melee mail. And we're up at 250 points in melee, up from our start of 140. So here's where we want to slow things down a little and be a little more careful, because as I said earlier, you don't want more than 255 points into any one stat. And in fact, you want it to be a little below that so that you can still put level up points into it. So since I'm going up by 10 melee point or 10 stat points every time, I want to slow it down and not do all five of my mutators. At this point, I'm going to go one at a time until I get that 254 that I want to get out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and create one mutation pulse this time instead of five. And we will see if we will get lucky. All right. Got all of our eggs. Let's go see what we have this time. And again, I'm looking just for points into melee. Anything else gets trashed. All right, nothing that round, so we're going to nuke all of these and come back in a moment when these guys are ready to try again. Okay, we are just about there. I have my final health mail set up. We're at our 254 points into health. So now the last couple of steps are going to revolve around combining my health stats and my melee stats to get my final boss dinos that have both of those maxed out stats. So I have my final health male here, my clean females. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and without doing any mutation pulses, this is strictly no mutation pulse, I'm going to go ahead and breed this final health to our clean females. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these eggs, I certainly don't need all of them, and we're going to turn them into females that have that final health stat. So this time we're not looking for any mutations, we'll discard any mutations we find, and we're going to turn our new ones into females instead of males. So let's go see what we've got. Oh, I have some old eggs in here. Let me get rid of some of these from the last round. Any that say best egg failure because I couldn't locate a parent is because I put the previous male away. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear these old ones out till we get to the new ones.
All right, so here we are, the start of our fresh batch of eggs. Um, again, we have 254 points into health. We want to make sure this is a female. There's no mutations. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that one out. And this one is going to be called Elf Female. And then I'm just going to do that a few more times until I get a couple more of those nice females up. Oh, that one has a mutation, so we're going to get rid of that one. This one is a male, so we're going to go ahead and turn that into a female. Alright, pop you out. You're also going to be health female. female, make it best egg. This is where they tend to bounce around a little bit. This is why I often use two best eggs so I can swap them around. Alright, we'll pop you out. You're a female, we'll pop you out. pop out here and claim some of these before I forget. A female. Come here, kiddo. So one, two, three, four. Let's get one more so we have five. Number doesn't really matter, but I'm not making a ton of these, so I don't need as many as I would have if I was starting a fresh breeding project. Alright, where did you go, little baby? I know you're around here somewhere. There you are. Alright, so now we have our clean health females. No mutations in them other than the health. And the health is now carried, all of those mutations carried on the female side. We can only have up to 20 mutations on each side. So this is why we're gonna transfer it to the female and then breed it back to our other male for the melee. So I'm gonna go ahead at this point and all of these clean females we do not need at the moment so we're going to put these away so they're going to go in my clean folder with my original clean male my health final male can also get put away since we have transferred his stats over to the female side. And I'm going to grab my melee male. And I'll stick him out here. Alright, lovely ladies. I'm going to grab these girls. And we're going to combine those stats to get our final end product. So we'll set up our new breeding ring. A much smaller one this time. So if we take one last look, our females all have 254 points into health, but they do not have the melee stat. My male has 254 in melee, but the health is still low. 
So now we're going to breed them together and use the best egg to give us the best stats. Again, for this, we do not want to use the mutator. We have our final stats. We're going to go ahead and just combine them. They're doing that. I'm going to pull those out because we don't need those anymore. Alright, so let's let the best egg pick those up. And then, there we go, we will start setting up our final collection. So what I'm going to do, make this go a little faster, I'm going to grab all those into my inventory. I'm going to do these one at a time. So now I have 254 health, 254 melee. Gender doesn't matter, just your preference. I'm going to make that the best egg. If I want to go in, I'm going to go into my details and I can mess with my colors. We're going to do this, I think, for this one. Okay, that one will be ready in a sec. Do our next one over here. Again, no mutations, we're all good. Make best egg. Let's do some color editing. Let's make you... I'll do dark teal for you. That sounds good. Okay. Alright, and these are going to be the finals. You can see we have 254 melee, 254 health. This is our new final baby with our perfect maxed out stats. And that is all we need to do to breed out our stat lines. Do a stat at a time, get them up to 254 or as close to that as you can without going over to 255 and then combine all your stats to get your final pair. Hope this helps, and uh, see you in the next video.